and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to episode 6 of the Elemental Legacy in the Fire Generation. Now, if you have not seen any of the Elemental Legacy before, you're going to be very confused. So I've linked the playlist in the iCard up above, so that way you can go back and watch from the very beginning. Now, if you are caught up, you will remember last episode was a bit of a wild ride. So unfortunately, Serafina and Akira are no longer together. However, life must go on. Serafina now has a child that she must raise as a single mother, and she must also try to get ready to buy her dream restaurant. She's almost there, almost there, but she still has just a little bit further way to go. So hopefully in this episode, she'll get a lot closer to her goal. So let's go ahead and hop on in and see what happens. We're back with Serafina, and she's looking really sad. I mean, honestly, since she just got divorced, I can totally understand why she is feeling so down in the dumps and sad. It was a sad thing to have that marriage end, but it was honestly for the better. That fell apart so fast. So we're going to let her have her moment of self-pity, and then she's going to hop on back in and try to get promoted at work. So what, what did she decide to watch today? She decided to watch TV classics. I guess she wanted that old school romance for tonight. So it is getting rather late. However, her needs are not that bad. So I think we'll let her watch a movie tonight before getting some rest. Oh, she wants to go cry it out. That's fair. But if you guys don't remember, this is Arena. Arena does have Akira's last name. However, we are going to leave that up to Serafina to decide if she wants to change that in the future. Oh, after a quick cry, she wants to check the weather for tomorrow. Totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, does she have to work tomorrow? Let's do a quick rundown of what she has to do. All right, so she has another two days before she has to go back to work. That's totally good for us. Totally good for us. Um, she does need to reach a level four mixology skill, which I think means we need to go to the park to go back to that bar which i think we probably if she's doing good sleep wise yeah let's have her go do that tonight while everybody else is asleep uh, that way she's not interrupted by anyone unless obviously of course vampires show up uh so let's have her go to the bathroom and then we'll send her on over after we take care of her daughter it looks like no one is at the park which is great for us absolutely great for us so let's have her come practice making drinks and hopefully she'll get to level four where is she at right now she is at level three 21 percent so that shouldn't be too bad for us she should be able to do that however she is very 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 sad still for about 19 more hours totally fair and i do see someone walking around is this a vampire it's a vampire. All right, well, maybe he won't bother us. Maybe he won't. So, come on, Serafina. Let's get your mixology skill going. And she is listening to blues music, which, as we know, blues is one of her favorite genres. So, we'll let her enjoy her blues music. Didn't see that one coming, though. She didn't strike me as a blues lover, but must be a guilty pleasure. Arky. I don't like this team being flirty with us. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. How is your skill going? You're at 65%, which is not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. I was hoping for a bit higher before people showed up. This is really early for people to be showing up to the park, though. I came here so you wouldn't talk to people, Serafina. And also, you're getting really tired. I was hoping you'd be able to go home before this. Well, this is going to be interesting. 86%. Come on, you're almost there. I will let you go home. You can hang out with your friends later. Um, I guess we will... Oh, we already have introduced ourselves. Okay. And you are Gemma Charm, another teenager. This must be a teen hotspot or something. I know it doesn't have that trait, but... There we go. You've got your mixology skill. That's the last thing you need for mixology. So, you are rather tired. 
You know what? Yeah, we'll send you back home to get some sleep, even though I'm sure with your daughter you're not going to get any sleep. Discuss local fishing spots. All right. But, I mean, this is kind of healing for her to be around other people because she wasn't around people really other than Akira. So it is good for her to talk to him. Especially since it's two other guys. <laughs> so maybe we'll try to strike up a friendship with Salim because we're about the same age. Or maybe Octavio. Maybe we'll have just a slightly younger friend. We'll see. But she is very tired and she does have a daughter that she needs to pick up from overnight daycare. Which, thankfully in The Sims, you don't have to pay for daycare costs. I mean, you do with a mod, but... Yeah, that would really down. cut into our profits for this restaurant. Alright, go on home. Let's get you into bed. Alright, it's 7.30 in the morning. She is exhausted. She's also hungry. So, first things first, let's have her clean out spoiled food. And then we'll have her make herself a quick salad. And then we'll send her straight to bed. Alright, let's get in bed before you pass out. Which is momentarily. So, please... Get in bed, my dear. Let's get some sleep. Hopefully, we are not woken up in the middle of our sleep. <laughs> and as soon as we lay down, Nancy's calling us. <gasps> Ooh, this could be interesting, guys. Nancy getting out of the crime business? Ooh, all right. Well, Nancy did tell us to follow our heart and our dreams. So, you should follow your heart. But I called you so I didn't have to decide myself. Oops. Oopsies. We probably should have told her to get out of it. But, you know, if her being a crime lord helps us and helps us get our restaurant for a lower price, is that so much a bad thing? We'll find out. All right. Fingers crossed that we are not woken up before we are at least partially rested. Okay, it's 2 o'clock. Nancy wants us to come over. How are we on sleep? Oh, we're, we're pretty decent on sleep. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and head on over. I wish we could take our daughter with us. Because Erina would love a field trip. Sadly, it doesn't let her bring a, her with us, but since when does Nancy have a toddler? <laughs> Nancy, you have a toddler and you didn't tell us. All right, well, let's go ask Nancy to pursue her dream job since apparently that conversation went poorly. And then... This little Nash. That's kind of cute, though. Not going to lie. That's kind of cute. Um, Are we not going to talk to her? I get you had to pee, but, like... We got to talk to her. Hold up. Bess Edo? Bess got married? Uh, no to the scam, but that's an interesting tidbit. All right, now that you've washed your hands, let's try this again. Ask her to pursue her dream job. And let's see. Fingers crossed. I mean, they have this mansion. It's an ugly mansion, but it's still a mansion. So come on, ask her to pursue her dream job. What does she say? Uh, I've been pondering what would give me the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decide soon. This could be interesting. This could be very interesting. All right, let's introduce ourselves to the toddler. Maybe our kids can be friends. That could be interesting. I mean, she's still very, very sad, but that's okay. All right, well, it's very cold. It's very, not cold. It's very hot outside. It's cold here. It's hot in-game. So, 
Is there a way to change your clothes? I hope that's your hot weather wear. Actually, I hope that's not your hot weather wear because otherwise you're wearing long sleeves. Oh, he's inquisitive. All right, she's not in a bad enough mood for us to crush the kids' dreams. But... Come on, let's bring the kid inside. It's a little too hot for that. Oh, whoa. Let's bring the kid in here. Put the kid down here. Let's go here together. Wait a minute. Why'd you put him down? Pick up the kid. Stop talking and come over here. Bring the child inside. Actually, bring the child over here. Put Nash down here. Let's let's bring the child inside with the rest of the family. Leaving your child up front is called neglect. Although I totally expect that from Nancy. But come on, Jeffrey, get with the program. Why did we not bring the toddler inside? Bring the toddler inside. Are we gonna bring are we gonna spend our entire visit over here trying to get this toddler inside? I feel like we are. Alright. Attempt number three. Okay, we have the toddler. Put Nash down here. No, pick pick the toddler up. Pick the toddler up. Yes. All right, toddler's hungry. Yes. Okay, well, maybe... What if we just put the toddler down right here? I just want the toddler inside. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Toddler can't go upstairs, I don't think. But at least he's inside. At least he's inside. Nancy's running away. Why is everybody out front now? We spend all this time trying to get them back inside. This is why playing with NPC Sims is never fun. Oh, see, there's the kid in his regular clothes. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Come over here and gossip with Nancy. You need to pick me up. Especially since now the child's coming right back outside. Sims, what are you doing? I can't. At this point, we kind of need to just set up like a a outdoor area up here for them to sit and hang out. All right. You're happy. She's confident. Ask about her hobbies and skills. We need to learn a little bit more about her. All right. What'd she say? We're not going to find out. Fair. Okay, brighten her day. I was going to introduce ourselves, but he's run away. You know what? It's fine. Are you almost over your sadness? Two hours. All right. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're good. Share secret. You're best friends, correct? Open sim profile. Best friends. Yes, they are best friends. They're deeply connected, which is great. I mean, they're both... I'm pretty sure Nancy's mean. Or she's evil. It's one of the two. I never remember. Um, and I never take the time to find out. But they work well together. So, actually, let's discuss interests. Let's see if we can find out what it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, discuss interests. What do we uh, find out? Anything? Nothing. All right, maybe let's try get to know. Get to know. <laughs> Ambitious. All right, let's try this one more time. Do not go anywhere. It's missing. Why is it missing? Purple. 
turret been? Um, purple? where is it? Where is it? Jalurva Katsuni. We can try to discuss Zinzei interest. Pohaven. Yeah, we might have to do discuss interest again. Zibora. Ah. Ribalfa? <laughs> discuss Nalbasa? interest. All right. Oh, yeah. We just need to know one oh, more trait sure, of hers. Apolachaba? Apolachaba? All right. Nancy told her that guppies Apolachaba. exist. Rinka Shalbo. Skobani. Justin Nippins rolled me. All right, can I get a get to know? Get to know. Please give me a get to know. It's not here. All right, then. Deep conversation. All right, so she's ignoring us for the toddler now. I mean, fair. But she is very tired and hungry, and it's technically Arena's birthday. Erin is. All right, she's still almost over the sadness. By the time we send her home, she'll be over it. It's time for her to sleep, eat, and age Erina up. So let's just go home. This was a okay visit. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, first things first, her daughter needs her diaper changed. So please change her diaper. And then come have some dinner. I actually don't even care what you eat. Now oh, we'll have a bun me. We'll have we'll have you get something to eat. Alright. Let's get some food. She does need to sleep soon. And she also needs a shower. However, she does work tomorrow. So tomorrow we might get promoted. Fingers crossed. Because we're currently a line cook, which is culinary level five. So in the next promotion is when we will firmly go down the cooking path. And then that'll put us one step closer to getting our restaurant. We're at 21,000 simoleons. I believe we need like 30,000 simoleons to afford that restaurant. Um, so it's going to be cutting it really close. All right, make your food. What are you making? You're making a banh mi. Let's enjoy her cooking abilities or lack thereof. She's enjoying herself. How just zoom. Oh, chima, chima, chima. When you flambe, you're not supposed to light yourself on fire. Yeah, so eat your food, and then we're going to have to come over here. Get her needs up. And then we're going to have to get ready to age her up. All right, so eat and then do that so then we can <laughs> go to sleep. And I also have to decide how to expand the house without fully expanding the house. So this will be very interesting. They may have to share a room for a bit. And level four of parenting so she can now give timeouts. And we'll have more information on how her advice will impact her child's development. Nice, nice. Aw, mother-daughter bonding time. Well... Before you pass out on us, let's go ahead and age her up and let's see how did she turn out. Who is she going to look like? Which parent? Yeah, through ya. All right, she is aged up. So here's the main question is what is her trait going to be? Now, in all of my legacy challenges, I do randomize the traits. So fingers crossed that it is not a bad trait. Angelic! So cute! I love that for her! The exact total opposite of her mom. Exact total opposite of her mom. So, I think it fits. I think it's going to be very cute for her. Now, let's take a look. What did she turn out to look like? Look at that hair! Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Look at this child. Look at how precious she is. She is so precious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this child. She is too cute. All right, she is definitely going to need a makeover. So if you guys have any recommendations for Toddler CC, let me know. You can let me know in the Discord or you can let me in, know in the comments down below. I'm very excited because I think she deserves some really, really cute CC. Now, what are her needs like? She's hungry and tired. So let's go ahead and make her a quick salad before we send both of them to sleep. All right, let's go ahead and give your daughter the salad. And um, I know you're very tired, but I'm going to make you clean. So let's have her come get the food. She's playing with her Wabbit tablet. And I did go ahead and give her this cute little bed. I figure we can do a renovation later. The main thing is we want to make sure she has somewhere that she can get some sleep. So, oh, you can't do that. Hold on. You gotta wait till your child gets the food and then you can come clean it. All right. Come clean and let's try to get you into bed before you pass out on me. Please don't do that. All right. Oh, and it looks like some skin details are not doing good on her. I will have to update her. Don't worry, we're gonna give her a full makeover. She's going to be looking so cute. And mom is in bed. Great. As long as mom is in bed, we can put our toddler to sleep. And everybody will be happy. Go ahead, finish your food up, little one, and let's get you to bed. To bed we go. And isn't this bed so cute for her? I think it is. It's very cute. Definitely going to need a makeover because that is not sleepwear pants, this poor child, but it's okay. All right, guys, I think this is where we are going to wrap this one up for today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part was. And as always, if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye. I also want to take a quick second to thank all of my wonderful coffee supporters. Thank you all so, so much for your love and support. It really does mean the world to me.